Hey everyone, it's Tone Bone here at New Mexico Comic Expo, and I am here with Derek Lee. And Derek has this amazing table right here of all his artwork. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, uh, I'm a local creator here in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, I do a lot of fine art, transferring over from the tattoo world into the digital art world, and uh, I have a story to tell. So I am self-publishing a comic book called MIS, which is short for Mississippi Savages. It's uh, set, in the, set in the past, and they're the first time to tell experiment to correct their past to make it more like our past. And it's also great to see a, a native artist being it, getting exposure out here. It's really great about that. Yes, a lot of it has to do with like the, the indigenous world, uh, indigenous Comic Con, for one thing. Mm -hmm. That that's uh, sparked me to have an interest in telling the story. Mm -hmm. And um, what a, what other are your inspirations for coming up with all this? Uh, most of it was like the growing up around in the Albuquerque, mm -hmm. the city native. Graduating here, going to school here, serving, serving my country here, being a veteran, and, and listening to all these different stories of the people, and I wanted to tell a story that influenced me. Mm. My dad was an educator, so I got to hear about a lot more stuff about the way, the way natives were kind of treated in the United States, and I want to use my comic to, to educate people on, on some of those things. Well, that's... Things like the, our 31st vice president was Native American, and people don't know that. Huh. So I have that incorporated into my comic book. Uh, things like when Native Americans, like the Indian Citizenship Act, was signed in June 2nd, 1924, and that's when Natives were considered United States citizens. Wow. I'm trying to spark those interests in the interest of the well, and this is a great medium that you could be educating people as well as inspiring them with your with your drawing there. So that's great. Um, now, where can people find your work? Uh, a lot of them are the local uh, comic book stores here in Albuquerque. The mm -hmm. big comic book stores, the one that's hosting New Mexico Comic Expo, Lobo Comics, Red Planet, Astro Zombies, and Blitter, and myself, and going to other comic book stores. But I, I tend to forget some of my stuff when I'm traveling around trying to yeah. figure out things. And your social media, so people can uh, look at these online there. Yes, uh, I have my own uh, website, uh, DVD Artistry. You can also find me on Facebook at DVD Artistry. Uh, Instagram, I'm at Lead Art, and the L and the E's are sevens and threes. That's uh, part of my, my branding is the 337 Art, 337 Comics. DVD Artistry, Dark Artistry, those are some of the things I have. And then my comic and my ass. Well, thank you so very much for your artwork. I appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you for being here.